Welcome to the unboxing video for the Rico R100 direct to garment printer and optional finisher. The use of a box cutter is shown in this video. Please use caution and wear eye protection anytime you are using tools to open packages or boxes. We will begin with the optional finisher. The finisher will also be used as the base for setting the printer on. When stacked, this minimizes the equipment's footprint. Start by cutting through the tape on the two sides and across the top of the box. First thing you'll notice on the top of the box is the owner's manual and quick reference guide for the finisher. Now let's remove the styrofoam so that we can access the finisher unit itself to remove it from the box. The assistance of a second person is recommended in removing the finisher or the printer from their shipping cartons. With the styrofoam removed, you may now unwrap the plastic from the finisher. On the top of the finisher are two knobs that stick up approximately one inch. These are to provide stability when stacking the printer on top of the finisher. Do not remove these knobs unless you do not intend to stack the units. Now that we've removed the finisher from the box, we can take a closer look at the notes and the directions that are provided Simply pull the brown box out and open it. In the brown box is the power cord provided for the finisher. Now we will unbox the Rico R100 printer. Start by slicing the tape on the sides and across the top. Remember, using a box cutter has a razor sharp edge and one should use caution when handling it. Do not set the blade to be fully exposed as this is not needed. Once you open the top of the Rico printer box, you will see two boxes. One box has four holes in it. You can remove this box and set it aside. We will explore this box in a few minutes. The other larger rectangular box can be easily shifted to the middle of the space so that it is easier to grip and also remove and set aside. Now remove the styrofoam framing that is on top of the Rico printer. Now unwrap the printer to expose it. It is recommended again that two people assist in removing this from the shipping carton. Because we have removed the finisher previously and set it in place, it's a simple process now of setting the Rico R100 printer on top of it, as shown in the picture here. Now let's take the larger box that we previously removed and carefully slice through the tape The items inside include power cable, the owner's manual and quick start guide. Also in the box is one of the platens. The platens are what you will mount the fabric to to put it into the printer for printing.
Once you remove the bubble wrap from the platen, you will see that there is an information sheet on the top showing you how to unpackage the platen. This is a simple process. The top simply slides off. Remove the orange tape that is surrounding the one end of the platen. Now peel up the orange tape that is holding down the white paper. Underneath the white paper, there are two knobs that you will pinch together. This will release the top edge of the platen, allowing you to more easily remove the paper and orange tape. This also exposes the platen and you may remove the bubble wrap also. Now let's explore the box with the four holes. This contains your cleaning supplies. In the cleaning supplies, you will find large style Q-tips, gloves, cleaning solution, and a catch tray to, to catch extra ink during the process of cleaning the machine. A separate box is shipped containing your ink cartridges. Four, four ink cartridges are included, yellow, magenta, a black, and a cyan color cartridges. Also included in this box is the USB cable. This allows you to directly connect your PC to the Ricoh printer. We hope this video was helpful, and thanks for purchasing your Ricoh R100 direct-to-garment printer from your authorized Juki dealer.